Hi, my name is Lenny Snigowski from Super Abrasive, the makers of the Lavina Pro line of machines and the Super Abrasive line of diamond tooling. Uh, as many of you know, while we're a uh, major diamond tooling manufacturer for the concrete polishing, grinding, floor prep, uh, and stone floor care industry, a um, few of the big questions that we're consistently getting and I wanted to make public uh, right now these answers. Uh, number one, what makes super abrasive diamond tooling so much better than, say, Brand X? And the answers are actually very simple. Uh, the technology that's involved in making the diamond tooling, um, you know, we're actually the only manufacturer of machines that makes our own diamond tooling and we actually manufacture the diamond powder. We're able to actually create industrial diamond powder. Nobody else does that. Um, everybody else mixes a, a batch of diamond powder brought in from somewhere and they mix it with resin and they'll press it into a mold and uh, you know, voila, we have a pad. Um, that's not how we operate. We actually have the ability to have more quality control in the diamond tooling manufacturing process than everybody else, simply because of the technology we possess in the factory for sorting diamond powder. Uh, that way, when you have a, uh, a 400 grit NATO, um, you're actually getting 400 grits or finer in that pad, nothing greater. You're not going to get a 50 grit diamond in a 400 grit NATO pad. Uh, the foreign professionals out there that have purchased cheap diamond tools in the past can tell you that it can happen at any time. You'll be running your 400 grit uh, resin on the floor that you got for two or three dollars less a pad, and then all of a sudden you're getting a really funky scratch pattern on the floor, a big flowery scratch pattern. And, uh, that's usually a larger diamond grit that's inside a finer diamond grit pad. That's a big no-no. Uh, we have the ability to make sure that that never happens. Um, the technology that's in the pads, uh, the reason the NATO is shaped the way a NATO is shaped, uh, with the beveled edge, uh, the spacing between the segments, the flexibility of the pad, there's all these things, uh, they're not secrets. Um, they're what separate us from the other diamond tools out there. And, and the actual quality of the resin bond compared to what's out there. Um, if anybody's used a NATO, if you have the right number of NATOs under your machine for its down pressure, uh, to, a, to correct for that uh, down pressure, um, you've experienced a lot of success. <clears throat> the only people that experience uh, uh, poor time with the, uh, a NATO pad or a super abrasive diamond tool, somebody who's not uh, educated enough on the diamond tools, uh, where they would actually um, maximize their down pressure per pad and get the most out of the diamond tool. Um, a lot of people don't really realize that if we made a diamond pad that lasts 20,000 square feet, that pad's probably not working properly. Um, we design all of our bonds to give up diamonds uh, at a rate that would allow you to have about 10,000 square feet per set. No, that's not so that you reorder more diamonds every 10,000 square feet. Uh, although that's a nice feature, that's not what it is. Um, we know that you need to have clean, fresh, sharp diamond tools on the floor moving in every grip. So we, we try to make it so that these pads will actually wear at the right rate and allow you to have the diamond tooling on the floor and not just the bond on the floor, because as you know, the bond doesn't do anything to the floor. Uh, it's the diamonds that need to be doing all the work. Here's another big question we get. <clears throat> but I get diamond and tooling so much cheaper somewhere else. Why do I have to pay more for something I can get anywhere for cheaper? And most of the time, I would have to say that's false. Uh, super abrasive diamond tools are consistently on the lower end of the price 
uh, scale out there. Um, we're not the most expensive diamond tools out there. Uh, we're by far the highest quality on the market, um, but we've priced ourselves uh, competitively with what's out there. And if you buy locally from a distributor, chances are you're probably going to get a pretty good deal on the diamond tooling. Uh, they want your repeat business. Uh, so you can get that high quality diamond tool uh, that will allow your machine, whatever the brand, to work to its uh, maximum capacity and productivity and uh, allow you to make as much money as possible. Um, typically, our diamond tools are in stock locally, wherever you are in the United States. We try to make it to where you're at least within a few hours of a local distributor. That's pretty powerful, considering you have to uh, order online from a lot of direct manufacturers. Uh, we're utilizing our distributor network and dealer network throughout the United States to help you not have to worry about being such a great planner. Um, contractors tend to be poor planners in general, and uh, we want to make sure that you're able to get the things that you need when you need them. So uh, local distribution has a lot to do with, with, with where these diamond tools might be a dollar more a pad. In some instances, uh, the things are in stock. You're not paying an overnight fee to get them in. So that's a win right there. Um, here's another question we get. How long do super abrasive diamond tools last? Now I kind of addressed that in the first question, um, but really the, the, the fact of the matter is uh, there's a lot of variables involved in what makes a diamond tool last uh, any length of time. Um, you know, we can make a diamond pad that lasts 100,000 square feet. The problem is, is that it won't be working efficiently. Um, you need to let new diamonds out at a certain rate on different types of concrete, so different hardness. Um, I always test the hardness of the concrete before you put a diamond on the floor. Try to get 10,000 square feet a set. I don't care where you're buying your diamonds. 10,000 square feet should be the benchmark that's what we've tested over and over. We've been making diamond tools since 1986 uh, for the stone industry and for the concrete industry. And people would say, oh, I've got a pad that'll last 20,000 square feet. I've got a pad that'll last 40,000 square feet. That's great. The quality of the floor, uh, the processing of the floor is what I would question. And I would put our 10,000 square foot pads up against anybody's 20,000 square foot pads for quality and for the processing of the floor. Um, here's another question that comes up quite a bit. Can I put super abrasive diamond tools on my brand X machine? And the answer is absolutely. Um, you can get a conversion plate for all the major machine manufacturers out there to put our diamond tools on, whether it's the metal bond quick change or use our resin pads. Um, we try to make it as simple as possible for you to use the best tools in the industry. Uh, maybe you bought 15 Brand X machines five years ago before our new Lavina Pro line was out um, and you thought that was a better machine at the time. Well, okay, great. No reason to throw them out. Let's put the right diamond tools under it to make those extremely efficient. Uh, I'm a big believer in uh, conserving and reusing uh, if you've got, you've got machines that are in your fleet, get the most out of them. They should be out making money for you. It doesn't matter that it's not a Levina machine. It doesn't matter to us. Uh, we, want you to use, uh, we want you to use our diamond tools. And uh, all you got to do is contact a local distributor or call us directly. Or you can visit superabrasive.com to get a hold of us. And uh, we'll be able to point you in the right direction pretty quickly. Um, Another question, and I'll end it with this because this is this is the this is the one that uh, I think is pretty important. Do super abrasives diamond tools work better on a Lavina than they do on, say, a Brand X? And the answer to that is yes. The reason why they work better is the only thing we can control is the manufacturing process. We can't control the floors that are out there. So what we do is we maximize uh, diamond tooling to go with our machine.
machine. And that's based on down pressure, RPM, um, the planetary motion, the floating heads, uh, the self-leveling skirt, uh, where the vacuum ports are. We do everything based around our system. We don't base it around Brand X's system. But what we do find is that when our diamond tools are placed under a Brand X machine, because of the high quality of the diamond, we're actually able to go ahead and manipulate Brand X's down pressure and Brand X's uh, ability to cut slow or fast based on the amount of diamonds that we put under there. Um, you can't take something that weighs 1,500 pounds and put the same amount of diamond tooling under it that you would put under, say, a 250 pound machine. You'll crush the diamond tools. And the guy that complains about that is nuts. Um, but they're out there. Uh, we're trying to educate. And we want to remove all ignorance to diamond tools if we can. Uh, we think the diamond tooling industry um, is at fault for a lot of the problems that are out there on floors. Um, Chemicals are one thing, machines are another thing, but diamond tooling needs to take some responsibility for making floors come out better. And that, that comes from the manufacturer, quite frankly. Uh, distributors do a really good job of, uh, of giving advice and helping as a whole on the whole system. But the diamond tooling specialty, that right there, um, there needs to be more care taken and that's something super abrasive is going to do going forward. We're going to offer more classes and more uh, education and learning opportunities for contractors and architects.